Good morning, Colfax. I'm Courtney Kirkland, ASB president, joined by your VP, Willow Preston, coming at you with a brand new episode of CTV. But first, we have some very unfortunate news for you today. Due to recent educational budget cuts, Ryan and Ryan have been laid off and we will be taking over the show. They will be missed, but unfortunately, we just can't afford them anymore. It's a fresh start to a whole new CTV and it is our time to shine. That's right, Courtney. Whoa, what are you guys doing here? Um, nothing. Just checking the equipment. How'd you get in? Are you guys wearing our jackets? Who let you in here? Why? April Fools! We got a great show for you today. We have a story about our new stunt team. And a sneak peek at our new play opening tonight. But first, let's see what our CHS choir did at the most recent competition. Here's reporter Trent Detmer and photographer Elijah Key. The Colfax Choir, one of our best performing arts programs, have just recently returned from their performance in Anaheim. Let's see how one of the students felt about their performance. This was our 19th consecutive gold award. I personally was not very confident. I didn't think that we were gonna get a gold. I thought we were gonna like get a silver or um, worse, I don't know. I didn't really know what to expect going into it because this is my first year in chamber choir. They were pretty difficult. Um, they either were not in English or they had really difficult rhythms and cutoffs and yeah. I base it on based on on how my choir is at that year, you know, and then I, I choose music that's a step above uh, their level, so they have to work really hard and, and and grow quite a bit to accomplish the the competition music. I was extremely proud of the choir. I thought they sang beautifully. Um, in fact, right after they were done, I posted something on Facebook about how beautiful they sang. Uh, I was super proud of them. We had a really tough time preparing this year because uh, uh, everybody was getting sick. I mean, it got so bad, we called it the plague in our choir. Uh, we went through about three weeks where six to nine people were gone every single day. And that's a lot when you have a choir of 33. Reporting for CTV with photographer Tread Detmer, I'm Elijah Key. See you next time, Colfax. Thank you, Trent Elijah, and congratulations to Mr. Wilkinson and the entire Colfax Choir. Now it's time to take a quick break, and when we come back, we'll be kicking the John John for our sports highlight. A long time ago, during the time of the Greeks, stood a hero. This hero gathered a crew of the bravest and strongest to journey on an epic adventure to retrieve a mythical item, Jason and the Argonauts, and the quest for the Golden Fleece. Repertory Ensemble Production Written by Mary Zimmerman Directed by Jonathan Mazer Argonautica Opening tonight Don't forget to get your tickets for the play It's time to hand it over to John and John for our CTV Sports Highlight Good morning Colfax, hope you all had a great spring break It's good to be back after a two week dead period without John and John but we're back and ready to dive right in. Okay, John, speaking of diving, our swim team has their second meet today at the ARD pool in Auburn versus Lincoln, and our track team has a home meet today as well. On Tuesday, our baseball team played center and lost nine to five, but put up a good fight with Dakota Red Ferns saving a run with a magnificent over the shoulder catch. I also heard that Alex Weir and JT Hobb had a pretty sweet double play, and JT Hobbs also stole third base. Yeah. Also, our tennis team won 6-3 against Foothill on Tuesday in a great match, and our men's golf team lost to Placer, unfortunately. But on the bright side, Jared Luby shot a 41 with two birdies, which happened to be a team best. Eric Smith also had a birdie. Attaboy Jared, on Wednesday, Colfax hosted a stunt competition for the first time in Colfax history, and the stunt team performed well. Jake Smothers and John McCann took a look behind the scenes of the new stunt team. Hey Colfax, my name is Jake Smothers with CTV. Today we're going to be taking a look at Colfax's new stunt team. It's like a spirit squad, like it's school spirit, they run events and they do have stunt team, but stunt team's just like, it's competition, it's competing stunt team. 
Stunt is a new sport to Colfax where girls get to take cheerleading to a more competitive level. I've been cheering for three years now, going on three years now, and this year Stunt is brand new so no one has actually done it at the school. Danger is a huge risk to our stunters and can result in serious injuries. Uh, we practice four days a week and most everybody on the team is brand new. They've never even stunted a girl before. Stunt eliminates the crowd leading factor of cheerleading and focuses on the more technical and athletic elements of the sport. Uh, we do conditioning and we train technique for stunting. Um, we work on jumps and uh, my main goal in coaching stunt is to improve technique for our cheer squad in the fall. Let's take a further look at the competitive aspect of the sport. Well, competitive cheer is very different. This is a new version of competitive cheer. It's based on three different categories and the girls are judged on the execution of the stunts, the jumps, and the tumbling. Reporting for CTV with reporter John McCann, my name is Jake Smothers. We are excited to see what's to come with the new stunt team. Next week, baseball, boys golf, tennis, girls soccer, track, softball, and swim all the busy week of games, meets, and matches. We will look back at them next week. I don't know if you've heard, John, but the ping pong tournament is back at Colfax. Oh, I've heard, and I cannot wait to see how this plays out. Sign up in the, in the singles division or the doubles division. Registration is Monday through Thursday of next week. Colfax has been fun, but there's more important things to be done. So, until next week, I'm John Hill. And I'm John McCann. And we're signing, signing off. off. Well, I hope you enjoyed our fun-filled episode of CTV. Once again, this has been Ryan Ferris. And Ryan Santos, reporting for the first of many times for CTV.